Hi, in this session I am going to show you on how to uh, save or delete or export the report we created. To execute the report, you need to go to the FDIA0 and after that you select the report you want to execute then click on execute. So here you need to enter the input parameters, company code, physical year from and to and click on execute so the system is showing the report output so now you go to the customers click on the customer and select the customer and then click on the overview button here so now you can see the report in the customer and the uh, carry forward and the debit credit total balance under your columns when you execute the report the system will show the initial report and after that you change this the layout as uh, like this so now when you are going to exit from this report so now the report is showing like this after you select the customer so when you try to exit from the report you can see there is a pop-up window here so this is the system is asking the information here before you exit this report do you want to save the data first so it means you want to save this da report data then if you click yes then you can see the message here this report will be automatically saved to the application server this is your presentation server so application server where you your sap is installed uh, that is called a application server so here when you click on s the system is saving this report so now you can see while you you exit this report and save the data within this report so now you can see here the message is showing report was saved with the data so now i am executing the report again so you see now so what the system is showing here is when you save the data when before uh, you exiting the report this this report is automatically saving by the this SAP FI uh, report painter so you can see report data of this date so this is your report execution date so for example if you posted any data after this executing this report then it will not show under this report so if you want to see a real-time data then you need to select here new selection so if you want to see the report you are saved then you click here so if you do some postings after this date those transactions will not be appeared in this report or it will not be shown in this report so this is uh, the future of this uh, saving the data in the report itself so you can save so now you just want to have a new selection which is a real-time data then you click on the new selection click OK so now the system will show the real-time data whatever posting while you are executing the report so here so it means yeah this is how it works so now you go to the customer and click overview button now this is how you can save the report without downloading this report or without exporting this report if you just want to view uh, whatever the posted as of that date and you want to compare with the new real-time data yes that is possible so now how to delete the data so you saved the report data so you just want to delete so to delete the data you just click on the delete do you want to want the frozen report data to be deleted click yes it means this report data is deleted so now if you click on the execute now the system is asking you want to save this report I say no 
and now you execute again so when you are executing now you can see the difference so you don't get any pop-up window because you already deleted the application server file so it's it's executing as a normal so this is how you can save as many times you want and now this is how the report will be showing to you this is a real-time data when you are executing so now how to export this report here just click on the report and export into your spreadsheet so here you can choose a report to XXL or a page to XXL what's the difference between the report to XXL and the page to XXL so the difference is when you select the first one the system is going to download the entire report from first page to the last page so when you click on the copy to page XXL then the system is only going to download the page what it is appearing here so that is the difference so don't select this uh, page page to XXL if you select that then the system is going to take the page it is showing here in your view here so but if you scroll down you can see the other pages also here so now you so here you can download a company code or a physical here I just want to download by customer so I just select the customer only as a my characteristic so now the system is downloading my report to the Excel spreadsheet so now I'm going to show you in this session I'm going to show you what are all the edit options one is sort in ascending order descending order accumulate to display on or off analysis conditions ranking list and columns all these options available after you execute the report output so the first you go to the you place the cursor on the customer here so I just want to put a ascending order so you click on sort in ascending order so now you can see here you want to do the ascending order by customer key or customer name or a customer description which is a long description so now current sorting is based on the key so now I want to do based on the customer name so you just select the radio button for customer name and click enter so now you can see it's automatically arranged based on the alpha new alphabets so now you click again sort in descending order yes you can do the same as well by selecting the customer click ok so now you can see in the descending order so this is how you can play with the ascending and descending order for the customer name customer key so both options are ever I am going to show you what is a cumulative display on or off so now the this customer uh, and the customer name is sorted according to the ascending order so now if I click on the cumulative display on so now the cumulative display is off so if you click on cumulative display on so you can see aggregated list of output is active so before cumulative display on what is the actual status of the figures so now you can see here with these columns so if you take the customer number 3060 and 3270 and 3271 so these are all the customer codes and this is a carried forward amount and this is a how it looks like the figures when the cumulative display on 
so this cumulative display on is actually is going to add the values so how it is going to add is first it will take this value and then later if you add up this is how the figures looks like until 3 to 7 1 so let us see now just clicking on the cumulative display on so if you check the figures here so you can see here so 3540 when you click on the cumulative display on this is how the figures is going to show you by adding up for each customer this is how accumulate to display so at the end of this last page if you go on the last page so because it's a cumulative to display by column by customer so this is how the cumulative to display on or off will work for the reports so this is not only for the balance report it will work for a line item displays analysis also the balance or any kind of report painter if you have this option it is applicable in this session i am going to show you on the analysis so under the analysis you have cumulative curve abc analysis classification so to check what is a cumulative curve so you can select the column and go to edit analysis click on cumulative curve so you can see running SAP statistics so this is how the system will show the cumulative curve for this report for the column carry forward so you can see this uh, this cumulative curve is for carry forward cumulative so when you go to this global options you have a lot of options on this so you can change according to your requirements so these are the standard sap statistics gaps so which you can use for your analysis so now the next one is abc analysis you see here the abc analysis is not showing anything or uh, even you click it's grayed out so even you click on this you will not find any information here so for this one actually you need to select a particular column for which you want to do the abc analysis so now i am i first i sort this column in the ascending order because why i'm sorting this first i would like to show you what is the abc analysis so for this column i have only a customers from col 120 sorry uh, it is from uh, yeah col 120 you have 260 19 and 20000 and 368 so now what I do is instead of uh, yeah so now what I do I copy these values into my Excel here So you can control Y and then copy the particular data you want to copy. So here I'm just changing as a number, number format. So for ABC analysis. So here I have 4 which is 3275 and 3277, 
3 0 7 5 9 and COL130 sorry I think COL120 is I don't have any values so now here you can see this is a customer number number and amount so be period amount so now to do the ABC analysis you want to classify a grouping so how you want to group it so for example I just want to group this as a group 1 so this is a A and this is a B and this one C let us say like this so it means you can maintain uh, the groupings here so now I selecting this column so now go to edit analysis click on ABC analysis so now you can put total period balance by percentage or number of customer number customer and the period balance absolute and number custom so I just put a percentage for classifying whether A or B or C just I click yes percentage period balance so now you can see size is 70% and 20% and 10% so now when you take the percentage now let me put here so this is my total so if you see this is my total sorry so now let let me find out the percentage for each individual customers and by total so I am calculating the percentage here so now you can see the percentages you can change the percentages how you want so I just want to classify all to 1% as here and 29% here or you can put as a 9% and then this is 10 so now you put a 90% here so because our percentage rooms uh, look like this so this will be I will change this as a B so if you see yes until 0 to 1 percent should be here and uh, greater than 1 and less than 10 will be here and 90 and above will be under segment A so because I have a very few information or data here so I just segregated like this so now if you click here calculate and now it will show whether it's a hundred percent or not so for example I put here click on calculate so you see here so if you put something wrong it's above hundred percent the system say sum of parameters must be equal to 100 so that that's the reason you, you can click here to check the values you entered is correct or not so now click ok so now 
you can see overview of all segments so when you see the overview of all segments you can see here how the system calculated so the segment A is 90% which is this one and B is this one you see 40019.19 and the segment C will be 26040 so this is how you can see the information then you can see the percentages calculator is based on the total amount so why I take the period balance is because I have a less data so it's good uh, I can explain you better instead of uh, taking the column which is having a more values so hope uh, it's clear for you so how the ABC analysis you can do so now here the system is showing also how many number of customers here so if you see the the report here so the segments you have segment A, segment B, segment C so under customer if this is a statistics it's a number of customers so the segment A has one customer segment B has a two customers and segment C has a 47 customers so here out of these 47 customers only one customer is having values all others are maybe zero so here two customers you have the data for these two customers so you can see some here so it's showing the value of here so the percentage here you can see 9.8 so overall percentage also you can see here under percentage when you see the segment here this is a segment so under the segment you can see this is a segment B segment A segment C so for example okay now no actually I want to change my strategy here click on a new strategy so you can change it to how you want to change the existing strategy so if we leave it back 70 20 and 10 so now click ok so you can see now if we leave it back as a system proposal initially so the data will be calculated based on that information here so you can see here and up to 90 percent here and the segment B don't have any values so the segment C will be 10 percent so it means all this will be part of your 10 percent so you can see here 4279.59 because this all this percentage is fall as 10 percent below 10 percent 0 to 10 percent so this is a uh, showing as a, a customers here 49 customers which is a 47 previously and then these two customers added here and 20 percent you don't have anything 11 to 20 percent you don't have anything so it's a zero so now you can see the a segment is only one customers anyway you have 90 percent 90.14 which is a only one customers you have so now you can check the initial graphs so here list segment a so you can see the list of customers so it will show the list of customers from here you can go to the segment C so under segment C how many customers so you can see like this the data by individual customers so how the system is calculated this figure so you can have this information by looking here you can print this information if it is needed or, or also you can sort this information as well ascending or descending or alphabetically so these options are also available here yeah. so now you just want to go to a complete list click on a complete list so now you can see here 
all segments in one report so you can see here B segment you don't have anything so now this is how you can do the ABC analysis for the customer now the last one is a classification so here the classification is let me take one column and then go to analysis and click on a classification so you can see class overview so here the system defaultly created a classes so now you can see these classes what are all the classes is created so you want to have a six classes or a five classes or a three classes so now the system is created defaultly there is a six classes what are these three six classes you can see here so the class one is six percent and class two is 34 and 62 and 90 and 118 so this is how the system is created the different classes for each individual ranges so now when you see the classes these classes is a absolute uh, amount so it means 0 to 6000 so 6001 to 34000 and then 34001 to 62 so this is a different classes the system is created so hope uh, you are clear about the classes it's like a same as a abc analysis the only uh, difference here is the ranges so it means uh, you can have different ranges instead of segments you have a classes so you can have classes 6 here the the SAP in the report you can divide 3 classes 4 classes or 6 classes so you can maintain the ranges for example I want a 0 to uh, let me take a 3000 and 3000 to 1001 to 20,000 and 20,001 to 1 lakh. So now lakh one two and I put uh, four lakh. So I guess or, or I put three. 300 thousands and 300 thousands 1 2 999 uh, I don't put 999 yes you can put 900 thousands so you want to have a different ranges for the classes so here so we can say this is a class number I can say class number here is class 1 so and then class 2 class 3 class 4 and the last one which is a greater than 1 so this is my class 4 so now let me explain you in the in the, with this example so if we are having a six classes so by this time you know what is a this is a class 1 this will be under class 1 and this will be under class 2 and this will be under class 3 and this will fall under class 5 okay so now 
you can see here the data like this so now what I do is I am going to change this as a 3000 and 20,000 and 1 lakh sorry I say 100 thousands so 300 thousands and 900 900 thousand so let us see now so now click ok so now if you see this information you can see here so as I explained here in my Excel here so this is a class 1 so maybe it is falling under 260 it is falling under here so the class 2 which is a 19649 is falling under this and 20,000 is falling under this and if you see 34 that 368 is falling under class 5 so the greater than this is a class 6 so likewise here if you want to change you can change the class limits or, or if you want to reduce the classes for three classes or four classes or five classes yes uh, you have only up to three to six range of the classes here so you want to have a details so you click on the details select the customers here details so you can see the total details or if you want to see in one report all the classes complete list you can have a complete list so you can see here the complete list so the system will show what are all the classes here so now we can see we have a class 1 class 2 class 3 and class 5 so you can see here my examples so for the classes how you can see the reports for each individual classes by individual customers so it is like a detailed reporting based on the classes you have so here this is how you can do the different classifications for your reporting analysis so this is how you can do the analysis I just use only one column to explain you because this column is having a very few data so either you can do for a individual columns uh, for all the data also so it works for all the columns so but it's only applicable uh, at the individual columns here so I think this uh, classifications maybe it's not possible for you to do it for all columns together because it's a complex case so uh, or you can create a formula here uh, to add up the values and then based on that cumulative uh, balance here uh, the last one you can do the classification so for example uh, just quickly I show you the classifications here based on our last column which is accumulated balance this is how the system create the classifications for the class limits if you see the six classes you can see here we, the system is having negative values here or positive values here or class 4 you have a positive values here so here yes you can do this uh, classifications for all the, the columns what you want and then uh, after that you can go to your complete list and you can see the by each class by individual customers so this is how the system will show the data so you can see the complete list based on the classifications so likewise yes you can do this for all based on the different ranges or ABC analysis or cumulative curve or classifications so this is how it will work for the classifications so in this session I am going to show you how to create a conditions so what is a condition so you can apply some conditions for each individual columns so you need to select the column where you want to apply this condition so choosing the column accumulated balance here under the condition so now you go to the edit condition now you see you don't see any change or a delete condition here because we don't create a, we, we are not created any conditions here so you don't see any change or a delete option here so now I just create a simple uh, condition 
Now here you can apply the condition either equal to or a greater than or equal to or a greater than or a less than so so you you, you can apply all all these condition values you can see greater than or equal to or, or less than or equal to so so you can apply these condition variables here so now i use greater than or equal to I just put a 200 thousands so now click on execute so if you see here so all these these customers is greater than 200 thousands so you can find the values for the customers based on the condition values so now how to change the condition so you can go to change condition and then I just change 200,000 to 20,000 now so click on execute so now it, the value is you can see here so what will happen to the customers is less than 200,000 so it means it will show as a different list here for those customers you can see all those customers here because you want a report only the customers is having a value greater than or equal to 20,000 so the report also will be printed for those so this you can see the remaining values here so this remaining values is came until 58,550 so now how to delete the condition so go to the condition and click on a delete a condition so now after you delete the condition so you can see there's a display conditions for this level was deleted so now you can see the entire list of customers so this is how the conditions work for the report so this will work for any kind of reports but the only thing is you should have a value columns for this in this session I'm going to show you how to use the ranking list so how you can uh, see the ranking list uh, for a top top 10 customers here so you, you select the column 10 customers and last uh, last customers so now you select the column you want to segregate this information so go to the edit and ranking list and click on a top 10 customers so here you can see this is a descending order so you, you you can find top 10 customers in the descending order so here uh, then, then then the system will show that uh, in the descending order so here I just want to give top 10 customers after uh, you choose the top 10 customers so this is showing in the descending order how how the top 10 customers will be shown so now when it comes to the ranking list for last information is based on the ascending order now you click ok the system will show the top 10 customers last 10 customers is based on this information here so this is how uh, the system will filter so you can see all the remaining customers here is this is the value so you can just uh, print this report and for your information or ever for your reporting so this is how it will work for the ranking list columns on or off for example you want to see only the paired balance and you don't want to see debit and credit totals at this moment so I just want to show you how to hide the columns you can hide the multiple columns or an individual column so how to hide the column here you can see on the columns but it's it's grayed out so the only available here delete or column width so once you select your column and then go to the columns so now you can you can see on or off so here you can check the box uncheck the box the columns you can see the switch 
columns on or off and then click ok so now you can see the report here in the output how to display only carry forward period balance and accumulated balance so you can download this report and how to unhide or how to on we off the columns now how to on the columns so you just need to select any column and then go to the edit columns and then click on or off so here select the columns here so now the system show here so here you can see what happened the columns when you on when you off it's before the period balance but when you on what happened it's showing after the accumulated balance so if what you need to do is so now you can define your sorting as your report previously so what you can do is here is the one and then this is your two and this is your three and this will be your four and this will be the last column which is five so now click ok so that these columns will be readjusted automatically based on your sorting off the columns will be off automatically from where you are offing but when you on it will automatically display only on the last so you may need to do the sorting as well after you on the columns so that you need to ensure so here I am going to show you how to check the line items for the balance here so you need to click on the cell here then you can go to the extras and click on the line items then the system will show the line items here so you can see the 3540 consists of the values from all these open items so you can see all these are the open items so this is the values system will show the line items for the total accumulated balance so you can see here this is a total accumulated balance so if you see here you can summarize here by this is a previous year and this is a current year so you can see this is under carried forward and this is as a period balance so this is what you are seeing here for this customer is a carried forward and this is a value you are seeing as a period balance which is a debit here so this is how you can go to the individual drill down report drill down uh, details for each individual customer now here i will show you how to go to navigate to the basic list from here directly without going back or here so you just go to the navigate and then click on the basic list then it will go to your original status of the report and if you want to come back again and click here and then select the customer and click on the details so this navigation option is available here i am going to show you on the settings so you go to the number format so under the number format you can maintain the value columns uh, here you want to show the columns here is a hundreds or a you want to see the decimal places is the two decimal places click ok now the system will change the units here you can see here currently it's in the units so now you go to the number format and you click on the value columns here so you can change according to your requirements so now you just want to change it to the thousands yes you can change also accordingly the a report also will change so you can adjust whether you want to change it back to the unit then you can put it back units so this is how you can change the number format so now the another one uh, here you can see display sign here so now how you want to display the sign currently it is showing at the end of the at the end of the number you want to see you can see here this is a negative sign is a good example here to show you 
so now uh, I am changing set as a before so now the system is changing the sign to the front from the back so now I want to keep in brackets if it is a negative that's also possible yes you can change according to the your number format so that is also possible in the report so the now the next one the characteristic display here if you check this characteristic display you have options whether currently it's showing a key and the name and you just want to have the name you can select the name or you want to have a key you can select the key so now if you select the name the system will show only the name and if you change to the key is a customer code the only the data will show based on the customer code and if you change name and the key also is possible like this so the system will show the name and key so here so the, all these options are available defaultly the system will show key and the name so now the total row here currently the total row is showing in the below so I will show you here so the total row is showing in the last so you can see in the last so now I just want to change this total row to the above so you can see under above also so now you can see the result here so the total row you can see on the top instead of seeing at the bottom so now you don't want to see the total row at all then you can hide so so now you can see here there's no total row at all so this is how you can hide or show on the bottom or above the total rows so here whatever the settings you did so you want to do the undo for the total rows so now it should show on the bottom so because you undo the settings what you have done for the total rows and you can undo the settings for the characters display and also the currency and you if you want to do it you can do it for all the report formattings you just want to reset back yes you can click all settings back then you will go back to your original so this is how you can undo the formats now here in the display percentage or absolute value so to show you I just give a simple example here I will take a uh, few customers so percentage or absolute value in the my Excel here so here I just take one customer 3060 this is my customer and amount is 3540 another one is 90540.62 which is negative sorry I have to keep that this is the amount so this customer is 3270 so this is how it's showing here in the report here so now I just take an example of these two customers so now if I see the total here the total for this is entire total for this report column carried forward is 3239 319.60 so here what is the percentage and absolute values so now you go to the report here settings percentage or absolute value you just click percentage so now you can see the percentage for the total so just divide by the total value here So, so, so now it's showing the, and now you just put a percentage. So now you can see it's perfectly showing 
the percentage so this will be this is calculated on the totals of each column so you can see the percentage of each customer for carry forward balance or or a or a accumulated balance you can see here so who is contributing more uh, to the outstanding balances yes you can see this uh, based on your report on the totals so you can also take top 10 or top 15 percentages that is also possible here and now if you click again it will go back to the original position as a absolute values whether it's a positive or a negative in the report so now the format display on or off so here the format display is one unit here it's showing so now you just click on or off then it will not show anything here so this is just to check the formatting for the number on or off is this is the format the another one is zero on or off you can see the values here the zeros if there is no value for each column so you just don't want to see the zeros you just want to off the zeros just click off so now you can see here all the zeros will be off so now you click on the on then it will show on the last one is how to on or off the report text so you just click on or off this report text is the report name not the header okay so the header will be still remain there so you can see you can add as many uh, in your header or on the on the report so here you just want to on the report text is this is the how the system will show